another week, another vlog, hopefully. Um, we'll see how consistent I can be with it. Yo, this, look how dusty this is. Not, not dusty, that's not the right word, but it's like, got a bunch of lint balls on it. Um, a bunch of Amazon packages came in today. I already opened them. Open them. I didn't even think about waiting until I got on camera to open them because I guess they're, I bought a bunch of stuff to vlog. So I guess I wouldn't have been able to vlog it the way I wanted to if I didn't already open them. Like uh, this camera is so heavy. I need to switch hands. Um, but yeah, I bought this, what I'm holding right now, a little mini tripod so that I can probably vlog better. Um, but it's, it's the lens. The lens is way too, like I'm shaking. Like I don't know how well you can see it on camera right now, but I am shaking. I need, I need to set this down. Okay, hopefully that's better. It's better for my arm at least. I'm tired of holding this like five pound lens on top of like the two pound camera. But yeah, hopefully this sounds all right too because I got like a new mic to connect to the wireless lav that I was using before. Also, don't, don't mind the pimple patches. Um, your boy's going through something. Anyway, yeah. I feel like I'm getting better at vlogging. It might not come across that way on camera, but I'm talking about like the consistency in which I do it. I, your boy's been vlogging the past couple days and like I've, I'm happy about it. Like I'm having fun. I, I'm posting another vlog today. That's two weeks in a row that I did vlogs. One was 33 minutes and the other one's like 22 minutes. So I feel like I'm doing all right. Give your boy a little round of applause in the comments. I actually already started filming uh, for this vlog, but I'm considering this the intro because the other clip was just me eating Popeyes in front of a camera, which Makes me feel like a stereotype. I don't even know what this vlog is gonna be about necessarily because I don't really have anything else planned today other than Working and filming and editing. I just filmed like eight videos um, And I can't film myself filming them because I film it on this camera But yeah, I mean I have a lot to do today in the sense that I, it's all inside though like I might go get uh, breakfast in a little bit because I'm starving and I haven't eaten yet today. So maybe I'll go get breakfast. I have no idea. I don't know. I need to clean my car out. That's something that I need to do. So maybe I'll do that. I have to change my oil tomorrow. I ordered my oil off of Amazon because it was cheaper than the oil like in the store by like a good amount. So I was like, that's stupid. I'll just wait the extra day and get it on Amazon and change my own oil. Cause I was gonna get my oil changed at like Valvoline and it was gonna be $90? Excuse me? Like, I get that I'm doing a full synthetic oil change, but $90 seems like, that seems like highway robbery. And so I just bought all this stuff to change my own oil because I was just being lazy. I just didn't want to change my own oil. I could do it, I just don't want to. But I was like, forget that. I bought everything I needed to change my oil because I didn't have a drain pan. I didn't have a funnel. I had to buy another filter and I bought some oil. And that was like $40 compared to 90. I will gladly just change my oil every time if that's what things are coming to. I'll change other people's oil for $90 if that's what people are paying. Anyway, yeah, that just, it, it just seems like an outrageous amount to pay for just an oil change. Um, so I'm gonna do it myself, but that's gonna be tomorrow because that's when the oil comes in. I also didn't buy a ramp to uh, drive onto, so I'm just gonna drive it up onto the curb in my apartment complex and change it that way. That should be fine. Uh, I'll see you when I have something more exciting to film. This shot's a little crooked, I'll fix it later. So I did that thing where I forgot to eat again. Ah, hey when that happens. So I just put in an order for some Panda Express because I didn't want to like, I mean Panda Express I still consider fast food, but I didn't want like anything else around here that's like quick. I didn't want like McDonald's or Taco Bell or Wendy's or anything like that. Like at least I can get like grilled chicken and rice over at Panda. I have a lot of things that I have to do today and tomorrow. I made like a big old to-do list for this weekend and I'm making my way through it. Like I'm making progress, but it is, it is a lot of stuff to do. What is, what are they doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn. This guy's, this guy's taking forever. Yeah, cause that guy still hasn't turned. Okay, yeah. I'm glad I went around him. I'm not even really that excited. How long was the camera pointed over there and I just didn't notice? At least you know I'm keeping my eyes on the road. At least you know that. Man, some people really just can't drive. That's crazy. Okay, I'm out of red light. I can fix the camera now. Maybe if I just... 
Last time I tightened it with like a screw, so maybe that's why I was more secure last time, but like it shouldn't, it, sh it shouldn't be loose. I never talked about this online, but I finally got paid from a sponsorship that I did like five months ago. And by the way, it was supposed to be a two week pay period. Like I was supposed to get paid two weeks after doing the campaign. It took them five months. And I'm not gonna say the brand because legally, I don't know if I'm allowed to, but let's just say I'm switching to Costco. Ooh, see the camera's turning again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to tighten that because that's not, that's not working for me. No problem. Uh, I'm picking up for Tyrese. Cool. All right, thank you. Hello. You too, thank you. One thing that I will always appreciate about Panda Express, they really mean that Express part. They be zooming. It's probably the fastest service that I've ever had at a fast food place. I would say the worst is probably checkers because they just straight up don't care. I've been disrespected at every single checkers that I've ever been to. Shout out to Panda Express though. I used to hate Panda Express. I, don't, I only liked Panda Express like within the past year or two because the first time I tried them, I got some like shrimp there and I was like, oh, this sucks. And then I just never went back. So I just assumed Panda Express was like whack food. But like, I actually kind of rock with it, especially like when I was going to the gym six days a week, which man, I miss those days. When I was going to the gym like six days a week, Panda Express was like the most macro friendly fast food place. Unless you were getting like grilled nuggets at uh, Chick-fil-A. Panda Express might be a ride or die, to be honest. I'm excited to watch this back and just see the exact moment that my camera just decided to whip the other way. I also wish, I, I hope I could figure out a way to like, negate all the shaking while I'm driving because this is like a pretty smooth road and I'm still seeing the shaking on the camera so like I don't know we'll see see if I can do anything about that what else do I have to do later today I have to clean out my car I said that I got like so I have CarPlay in my car but it's wired and I want wireless CarPlay because I don't want to have to plug in every single time first world problems I know but I did buy an adapter that hopefully will let me use wireless CarPlay but if it sucks I'm just gonna return it but it was like 50 60 bucks so why not try it out so I got that from Amazon what else did I get from Amazon I got that tripod I was talking about earlier I got this lav mic I got the wireless CarPlay thing my beloved Minnie Mouse headband that I use when I wash my face. Which by the way, it's not just for the camera. I legitimately use that headband when I wash my face. But it's like falling apart. Uh, so I gotta, ooh, bump. So I gotta get a new, not gotta get, I just got a new one. Um, I got like a pack of three of them. I like them, they're cool. It's not Minnie Mouse, but it's fine. Everyone has like a reserved spot at my apartment complex but me. And yes, I'm one of those people who backs into every single spot. It's just more convenient for me when I'm leaving because I don't like having to watch behind me while I'm trying to leave a parking lot, that sucks. I've been making progress on that to-do list. I just put in a load of laundry and I'm about to go clear out my car. I have been procrastinating on that one because I really don't want to, it's hot outside. I'll probably bring you guys with me into the car. I don't know how I'm gonna film in there while I'm cleaning, but we'll figure it out, I guess. I also just edited what, three or four videos for TikTok and Instagram. Um, just checked up on the analytics from the vlog that I just posted yesterday. And things are looking good right now. I'm happy about it. Excited to edit this one and put this one up for you guys. I'm just excited to be back making content. My arm is getting tired from lifting this ginormous camera, so I'm gonna go clean my car now. Okay, it doesn't look like too, too bad. There's like some stuff on the floor down there. It's like underneath there. Look at that, look at that. I gotta clean all that. Is that a Pringles can? Is that a Pringles can? It is. But yeah, I got a bunch of hoodies and like jackets in here that I never clean out. I have like an entire roll of toilet paper over here. Uh, let's, let's let's get the cleaning, I guess. I apologize for the glare. There is literally nothing I can do about it because the camera really won't go anywhere else. Um, I have a bunch of Gatorade bottles in here. Um, let's clear those out first. Brought a little baggie with me. This is a ton of trash in here. I got broke. I got broken sunglasses in here. Yeah, but this is all trash. This is all trash. Oh, it's broken. It's a broken SD card. Cool. Ugh. Okay, unfortunately, I think it's time for me to go underneath the seat. Um, okay. <sighs> it's a whole mason jar. Oh, oh my god. Let's get this Pringles can out. Oh, there were still crumbs in there. I got 
what feels like most of it. I don't have a vacuum, so I can't get all of it. Oh, ooh, is my arm stuck? Oh my God, my arm is stuck. Okay, I got it, I got it. Well, that's all from underneath one seat, really. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean some more, I'll be back. Look at this, look at this. This is a $200 Bluetooth speaker, and it's just underneath my seat. I miss this speaker. We're making progress though, we're, make, we're making progress. We are now to the trunk and update. I have found a second roll of toilet paper. It got way too hot in the car, I had to turn the AC on. Most of this back here isn't even trash, I just have to put it in my house instead. Umbrella, I'll keep my umbrella in the car. That can stay in the car for now. I mean, I do have a full-size regulation basketball hoop in here, which I, I guess I probably don't need. Okay, the car's pretty much cleaned out, um, or at least as much as I could do without, like, a vacuum and, like, washing the seats themselves. I also don't have anything to, like, wipe, like, the dashboard or anything. I basically just cleaned out the car. I didn't really clean the car. I just cleaned it out. I do want to get seat covers at some point in the near future. I did just get this little device. I'll put the link to this in the description if anybody wants to buy it, but it gave me wireless CarPlay, which is fantastic because I had CarPlay, but it was wired. It was strictly wired. Uh, and by the way, you have to have at least wired CarPlay before you get this, and then this will give you wireless CarPlay. But it was so worth it. Yeah, no, no wires, and we still get CarPlay. That's dope. But yeah, that was a great purchase. I have absolutely no regrets for that. I did have to turn the AC on, but it's still hot. I'm going back in the house. There's been like a four day gap since the last time I was recording this video, uh, but I did end up changing my oil. It was an absolute nightmare. I, I, that's a bit of an overstatement. It, it wasn't like the worst thing ever, but whoever previously changed my oil, I think I took it to the dealership last time, but they over torqued the filter itself because it's not supposed to be much more than hand tight. And it was so tight on the car. I literally had to drill a screw partially into the filter, get a hammer so that I could turn the filter and remove it. Draining it was easy. So yeah, that happened. I'm really glad that I didn't film the process. I almost did, I almost did. But oh, I'm so glad I didn't because it was so frustrating to deal with. On a brighter note, I've been making a bunch of content on TikTok again, not on my main page, but on the spam page. I'm doing like a bunch of like wordles and connections there. And I'm doing that like every day and it's been fun. I'm enjoying putting out content daily on that account. Still trying to figure out the schedule. I wanna put content out on the main account because I have to like actually make time to like brainstorm and film those videos because it's all like music based and like I love making music more than I love making music based content. Don't get me wrong, like I still enjoy it and like I love the results that I get at the end of the day, like I love the finished product that I'm delivering, but the process of doing that is just very draining and taxing, especially when I was doing this like what was this, like the last half of 2022, I was posting like a new skit every single day on my main TikTok and the results were fantastic. Like my streams went way up, but it was like, oh, I got burnt out. I got burnt out so bad. Burnout is so real. Burnout is so real. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's gonna happen. If you're doing something that you love and you're really grinding like towards a certain goal, you're gonna probably burn out at some point. And like, you really don't know that you've, I might have said this before, but you don't know that you're burnt out until after it happens. So it's not like, oh, I think I'm about to get there and then you stop yourself. It's like, no, you burnt yourself out and now you take steps to recover. And I've gotten good at the recovery process. I'm not really trying to avoid getting burnt out. I understand that it's gonna happen. It's whatever. Yeah, I know how to recover now. I'm better at it. I also apologize because I know this video is going up late. I was already supposed to post this video. I'm trying to think of what I did over the past week that is even worth talking about. I tried the new Popeye's wings, that's a thing that happened. Okay, so Popeye's has chicken wings. I mean, they've had chicken wings, words, Tyrese. They've had chicken wings for like a while now. I just haven't been to Popeye's in like legitimately a year. So I got some Popeye's, they also have like a new fish sandwich, so I got that too. I got sweet and spicy wings, the fried fish sandwich, a biscuit and some fries, cause you have to get a Popeye's biscuit if you're going to Popeye's. Now, I hate the sound of people chewing, so I'm not going to have this mic next to my mouth while I eat. I'm just gonna set it over there. Hopefully the audio is not dog water right now, cause I did set it aside. We're gonna start off with the fish sandwich. I'm skeptical about this, cause I've had a fish sandwich at Popeye's before. It was bad. It was like salty beyond the point of being edible. This does look better. God, that bread is so soft. Did they put my pickles on there? There are pickles. Shout out to Bubble Bass. It is still salty, 
not nearly as salty as it was the last time I tried this. The breading on it's just not great. Like, I, I mean, if, if I'm gonna get in my Keith Lee bag, I'd have to give this, like, on the scale of how good a fish sandwich could be, this is like a 4.1. I'm gonna finish it because I'm starving. I have not eaten yet today and it's 4.30. I need a paper towel. Wait, never mind. They gave me napkins. Um, I will be finishing this, but I'm gonna set it aside for now because I wanna try some fries before they get too cold. Again, they're fine. I feel like Popeye's fries are the most hit or miss fries out of any of the fast food chains. This, this is what we came for. The batter feels really good. It feels like a really good batter. That's a tiny wing though. I mean, That is such a good sauce. They only have one wing that's spicier than this and that's their signature spicy one. But I like a sweet and spicy sauce so I got that one instead. Now this does have the same problem that I had with the fries and the sandwich is that it's not really crispy, which kind of sucks. Now the sauce is carrying right now. It is a really good sauce. But again, I got to think of like the scale of how good wings can be. This is like a, like a 6.2. 6.2, I gave the sandwich a 4.1, this is a 6.2. I'm not gonna rate their fries. It's a French fry, I mean, you know what you're getting with Popeye's fries, they're fine. Now, despite none of this getting above like a six and a half, I'm going to destroy this off camera. But yeah, the mental health check for this episode, I would say is approved upon since the last episode. And even that episode, I said I was doing better. I am in a much better headspace now than I was last week. I mean, all you can do is really just try to keep improving. You can't like perfect mental health. It's like physical health. You can always get stronger. You can always get better. You can always get faster. Um, and that's kind of what it is like for mental health. There's not like a specific goal that you're aiming to attain. I mean, mental stability, yeah, but like that looks different for everybody else. Some people can handle certain levels of anxiety and still be mentally stable. So mental health, the, the picture of perfect mental health looks different to everybody else. So it's not really like a hard line that I'm trying to, to run past. It's really just trying to get better. Yeah, I feel pretty good about the place that I'm in right now. I went to a lightning game recently. That was super fun, except for the fact that we lost because the refs are blind. But yeah, that's about all I got for this video. Hope you guys are doing well. Until next time, it's all love. Peace. My team huddle up, your team shut it up, petty like time won't back down, run it up. On my son of a high speed, buckle up.